Hi Virgo, my name's Leona from Super Conscious Soul and this is your general reading. So, first of all, I've already pulled some oracle cards to save some time. We have eight oracle cards there, I may pull some more. And I'm going to pull your main reading cards. So, for the highest good of all, thank you, we've got a jumper there. Oh, Queen of Swords in reverse. Let's see what else we've got. Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node. What do you need to know at this time? Okay, we have the Sun. Oh, we have the Two of Swords. There's some kind of estrangement there from somebody, probably possibly or somebody stopping something from coming together maybe it's a mother figure maybe it's a widow here um it could be aquarius gemini or libra but it's somebody who's not very happy they don't want something to come together or they're not very happy for somebody to move forward or for their joy. There can be issues around a child here because we do have the Sun card. Okay. We have Knight of Cups in reverse. We have the Hanged Man upright, as you know. So the Knight of Cups is the issue in reverse. Somebody doesn't want somebody to go forward and make an offer. Somebody... Um, not accepting an apology, perhaps. Somebody's had a change of mind, though, with the um, hanged man in reverse. They're now enlightened about a situation. They may have walked away from it. Maybe it was a situation where they kept going backwards and forwards to. Can talk about a mother or grandmother. We've got the Four of Wands helping. Moving forward, we have the Empress. Ooh, then we have Ace of Cups and the Knight of Wands. Somebody's rushing forward to do something, and this could be after somebody was stopping them. Somebody was trying to get in. Oh, okay, we'll have two more. What have we got here? The Lover's card. And we've got the Emperor. Okay. No, he's the King of Wands. This could be around a father figure. This could be around somebody making a decision. Maybe somebody had to make a decision between their career and a lover, perhaps. It may not be necessarily between two lovers. It could be between two options, two choices. And then we've got the Queen of Wands in reverse. Somebody wasn't happy. They weren't getting um, some attention, perhaps. Maybe they went away, burned a bridge, because she is in reverse here. This could be a fire sign or somebody with fiery energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this King of Wands is sat there like, oh, like I don't even know what happened. Yeah. They're not following, the King of Wands isn't following their intuition, I feel here. Because with the Two of Swords, this is blindfolded, it's night time, back to the intuition, which is the water. Holding those two swords, stuck in that kind of position, stuck, unmoving, not knowing what to do. Woo! And then I think... What is it that changes the direction? What is it that changes? Seven of Pentacles. They've looked at what they're investing. 
maybe they've decided that what they've invested in wasn't giving them back what they wanted it could have been a cheating somebody who was cheating here with the queen of wands in reverse that can be um like somebody cheating they could have been another woman perhaps Knight of Cups in reverse. Six of Wands in reverse. Somebody had to let go of their egos. It may have been somebody's ego stopping them. Somebody's pride was stopping somebody coming forward. Or maybe they couldn't come forward because it was like a no-win situation somehow. Maybe this Queen of Swords had them in like a strategy or some kind of checkmate position. And then we've got the Knight of Swords here. So this is somebody going towards their truth, deciding actually this is what it is that I want. Yeah, moving forward. But they're moving very fast now. Maybe it's because they're, they're like... They've decided very quickly. They had a massive turnaround very quickly, perhaps. And the situation changed. This could be in terms of love. This could be in terms of work. You can put this to an area of your life that it fits in. Because at the energy, yes, there's an overall energy, but it affects everybody, everybody's lives in different ways. we got the chariot. Somebody's now ready to move forward. They've learnt from their mistakes. Something in their brain just kind of switched and they decided to move forward. They'd stopped being stubborn. Maybe there was no communication or maybe it's like a masculine and feminine pair in here. Then we have the King of Pentacles. Somebody was very focused on going towards work. Underneath we have the Nine of Pentacles. This is a single female here. Somebody who's very protected. Somebody who has everything that they need. Now, in terms of you guys, Virgo, this is your energy. Now, I feel like with the cards that we have here in terms of your Oracle cards... You've had a lot on your plate recently because this is talking about feeling overwhelmed. It's talking about really high ambition. Yeah, it's almost like there's not enough in hours in the day to compete with com to complete everything. It's a it's talking about Virgo needing to kind of there's a lot of ideas that are spinning around. There's a lot of things, projects that they'd like to do. It's almost like they want to have their their hands in all of the pies this month, yeah? But it's saying you have to narrow down your choices in everything, and that's why this lover's card is here with this king of wands, because it's telling you to narrow down your choices here. You're at a crossroads. And in order to come out of this confusion, this kind of state, you have to pinpoint, and that's where this pinhead pinch yellow comes into it. Now, this is number 24, so it's talking about bringing harmony it can talk about love. So it's also saying that maybe you're not making time for enough things. And right now, it's asking you to kind of slow down, Virgo, and pinpoint your focus. So focus on narrowing it down to like one option. Yeah, narrowing it something down, narrowing it down, narrowing it down until you have one option. Focusing on that one option, yeah? And then from there, it's allowing things to happen naturally, yeah? It's allowing things to go one step at a time. Because you may be kind of a bit like, oh, I'm going to do this and when I have enough for this and that's when I'm going to make this move and maybe I'm going to save for this and then that's when I'm going to buy that. But it's almost like, in a way, you're trying to control life this month, Virgo, yeah? 
is like focus on one thing and the universe is saying as you focus on that one thing everything else will fall into place you're kind of a little bit scattered this month and it's not because it's not for lack of ambition because the ambition is there you're really trying hard to get to that king of pentacles this month and I also feel like there's a relationship that you guys are going to be moving towards with this um, Empress card here and the Ace of Cups and the, the Knight of Wands underneath. But I feel like you guys are maybe needing to think kind of before you just rush in, yeah? And you're, or you're deciding, or oh, this is where you decide that's the one thing I want and then you're in. But with the energy here of the Knight of Wands, his energy can be a little bit scattered. It can be the Casanova card of in and out. So maybe that's how you're coming across to this Empress, yeah? In some senses, I feel though, at work, you're a boss. In your creative field, you may be a boss, yeah? But I feel like in some areas, the way that you're coming at this Empress, if this is a new life, yeah, the way that you're coming t towards this Empress is like hot and cold energy, yeah. Now, you, in terms of your romance angels, you got new love. And it says, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And I really do feel like this empress is somebody that you're looking at. We also have that nine of pentacles underneath the deck. And that does talk about a single female. Or a single male. Um, could be an earth sign. We have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. We had the queen of wands in reverse. We had the queen of swords in reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, Aquarius. The chariot can be the is the cancer card of cancer. And we have the lovers is, is Gemini here. So we have a lot of energies in here. It says you deserve love. You are lovable. Also. Here from the Oso, Osho Zen, we have disciplehood. Now, what this is saying is this guy was asked by somebody on his deathbed. He said, who is your master? We never got to ask you who is your master. And this guy on his deathbed, he says, um, I can't answer that as in one person. I've learnt from all of these people. I've learnt from this beggar and this thief. Yeah, I've learnt from this boy. I've learnt from this dog, he says. So in a sense, I feel like this month, Virgo, the messages that I'm getting from that is that there's a lot of people that you can um, learn a lot of information from this month, this month, but there is a need to focus your energy because I feel like it could be very scattered. Yeah. I also feel like there's somebody this month who says something to you and it kind of stays with you it triggers it keeps coming back to you for some reason um virgo and i feel like that could be a lesson like not a lesson but it's like almost like it's almost like you didn't hear somebody's words until after because this guy's like remembering on his deathbed all these people that he has learned from over the years so there's some kind of um thought or recollection that's going to bring you back to something somebody said this month and that is going to kind of trigger you in some way now we also got imagine here so there's a lot of imagining going on there's a lot of things going on here i almost feel like you've got so much going on but from the outside perspective it may look as if you're not busy but in terms of your brain this month, Virgo, I feel like, and your imagination and your creative talents, I feel like there is a lot going on underneath the surface. And it's almost like, like almost like in a way, like a creative genius that has so much going on. It's almost like they can't stop writing. They could keep writing and writing and writing or they could keep um, 
painting and painting and painting. It's like painting after painting, they've got these scenes in their heads. It's like that energy, but you're needing to focus your energy this month, Virgo. You're needing to focus on what it is that brings you joy this month. Because I feel like you're rushing towards it here. Now, it does have something to do with something you love. It could be starting a creative business here with the Empress, because she rules creativity. Could be to do with, like, um, I'm rushing out, I'm getting a new car even. I'm getting a new, I'm decorating my home. Um, you could be getting something done in terms of cosmetics, or somebody could be getting something done in terms of cosmetics. Because the Empress is seen as a very beautiful woman. But I almost feel like you need to make a choice before it's too late here, Virgo, as well. There may be emotional opportunities or opportunities that you're missing. We do have the card of strength here. And it is saying, strength comes from many sources. Staying strong brings confidence, conviction and a balanced body, mind and soul. Spirit has its own unique and beautiful way of replenishing your soul with strength. On a continual basis you're never really alone as we're always with you and we also got serenity the most unique relationship you can have is with yourself this is a time to honor nurture and love yourself more by seeking out and removing any negative feelings and emotions that are left over from yesterday don't let past issues and resentment interfere with your serenity today so Virgo, are you throwing yourself into work in order to get, escape something? Are you, um, are you kind of single? You want to be in a relationship, but at the same time, you want to be single. Because the Nine of Pentacles can sometimes suggest that. And I feel like there could be that energy for you guys this month. We also got 17, which is saying that it, this situation is completely in God's hands. Yeah, it won't be easy, but the the end result will be really good. Yeah, um, I feel like you this situation may be involving somebody that you feel like you've got all your eggs in their basket. You may feel like it's somebody you can't trust. Um, there could be some a situation involving mood swings as well. Yeah, so it could be that there's somebody that's kind of really um mood this their mood can swing and that is affecting you and then but i feel like here this card also talks about something suddenly changing a sudden change of course yeah something moving very quickly and you feeling like it's going to upset something yeah um it's almost like the universe is saying that this situation is out of your control and it's in god's hands so what will be will be so I really do hope this has helped. Take care. If you like a personal reading from me, all the information is in the box below. Thank you for all your likes, your shares and subscriptions. I really do appreciate it. Take care. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.